I simulated Victor Wembanyama's career if he was drafted in the 80s. Victor embodies the evolution of basketball, and some people might argue he wouldn't last in the 80s. So I figured why not throw him back 40 years and figure it out. He's gonna be put into the 1984 draft class with players like Akeem Olajuwon and Michael Jordan. And the Clippers having two top three picks completely changes the narrative of this draft. There's no telling how it's gonna look with Victor in the mix. But one thing was for certain, he was going number one. He's a, he's a Clipper. He's got that SpongeBob type pose, and that Sponge bob type build might not serve him well in this era there's more hand checking and physical play allowed but let's just say victor is going to be getting some help mj's a clipper too the clippers are about to be a dynasty putting in the prediction now victor is going to win mvp and though they would have a good season their record was insane magic johnson and larry bird were still kings of the league okay mj rookie of the year really victor's hurt and after cruising past the utah jazz in round one that's a clean sweep man it was clean clear that Victor's injury would not be our only problem. Oh my god, not magic. There's just no, it, we, we got swept. We got swept. God! Magic and the Lakers quickly humbled me in season one. But before season two, we should stop and spice things up. I decided to throw a little challenge in the mix. And so for every season Victor doesn't win a championship, I have to use a wax strip on my legs. Yeah, it's, it's gonna, it's gonna hurt a lot. Three, two, one. Oh my god! My legs are gonna be looking like Jennifer Lopez's after this. Looking at the roster before season two, Victor and MJ clearly had been putting in work. Victor went up to a 95 overall in the offseason, and MJ's a 91. They're about to run the league. Magic and Bird, it's over. And with a record of 65 and 17, I might have been correct. But there was a huge problem I hadn't yet picked up on. Where's Victor? He's not on any all-NBA team. Dislocated left patella. The 1980s NBA is eating Victor alive. But even without Victor, the Clippers had a one seed and Michael Jordan. Okay, MJ got it done. The Blazers have Clyde, Fat, and a ton of nobodies. And well, the Clippers didn't stand a chance against these nobodies. The Jazz and rookie Carl Malone got their chip. And me, I was back to waxing my legs. <laughs> Season three gave me a little pep in my step though. Victor was healthy and ready to go. Victor's back, he's pumped, and rightfully so. Victor didn't get injured, made all NBA second team and got a 50 plus win season. Yes, Victor made it through a season. 96 overall and MJ's a 95. It's gotta be lights out, it's gotta be over. There's no way. Somehow even with a great season, we were a five seed against the Lakers. The Lakers are falling off. I don't know what happened with old Magic. My confidence was through the roof so much that I simulated the round. And Magic had some to say about that what how did they win this team is not even better victor was not translating to the 80s how i had hoped victor put up 31 in those playoffs magic and the lakers of course won the chip and i of course continued to mutilate my legs one oh, God. two one Oh my god, it wouldn't come off! With public enemy number one being the Lakers and Magic, season four was no different. Wimbenyama was a 97 and even had a minimal impact on the floor. He had to have been injured because I don't believe he only put up 1,200 points. And a subpar Dallas team had their way with the Clippers in the playoffs. There's no way. There's like actually no shot. I'm so sick of the Lakers! A Lakers chip and another leg waxing started to give me deja vu. <laughs> Why is it not coming off this leg? But in the blink of an eye, we were back in the playoffs as a five seed against the Blazers. Now we've lost to them before. This isn't anything new, but Fat hasn't gotten any better and Clyde is, is decent. And we had the Blazers figured out this time. Give us that. But I had to mentally prepare myself for round two. It's looking like we're going to have to play the Lakers. And this time there's a little bit of hope. Magic has regressed down to a 92. But then I looked a little closer at the team. But Dominique and James Worthy are on the team like man don't like please man please we have victor and mj dude get one like get one i couldn't make it make sense but just when all hope was lost a spark ignited let's go thank you it's a 20 point game we gotta win this we gotta win this that's over give us that two game five's in the books game six this is huge this is like the biggest game of victor's career
After a heartbreaking end to a playoff run, I realized what may have happened. Bro, MJ got hurt. We would have won. I'm about to delete the Lakers franchise from this game. Another Lakers championship, another wax strip. <laughs> oh my God. Ow, 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 ow. I know you're thinking what I was thinking, but all hope is not lost. Victor came out swinging in season six. Okay, MJ defensive player of the year. I like where this is going. Victor and his good friend MJ were a cool 97 overall, but will it be enough to finally dethrone Magic and the Lakers? Oh my God, Lakers round one. Seeing LA take game one made me just want to throw in the towel. Oh, Lakers take game one. But Victor was not going to go down easy this time. Okay, one to one, one to one, one to one. We're good, we're good. Let's go, let's go. This could this be it? After all the Lakers championships, after all the Magic Johnson finals MVPs, after all the disappointment. Oh my God. Oh my God. They've done it. They've got to be unstoppable now. And after sweeping Seattle and Charlotte easily, I thought that, hey, maybe they were unstoppable. <laughs> Give us that! But I had forgotten about the absolute powerhouse in Chicago. David Robinson, Hakeem Olajuwon, and Patrick Ewing on the same team should not be allowed. There's just no way. This Bulls team is just going to be so dominant. Let's see game one. Oh my god. No, 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 no. After giving up game one, Victor bounced right back. We're good. Tie series. Tie series. And after going down 2-1, Victor and the Clippers bounced right back again. I'm, I'm like sweating right now. But then the Bulls became one game away from a championship and I got really nervous. Dude. Oh my. Please no. This is the biggest game six I've ever witnessed. And the Bulls are up so big. And as game six began to wind down, things were looking grim. No. Why? Victor got hurt, bro. That's why. Look at him go. Oh, he, he missed. Oh, look at this. Like, what am what are we gonna do, bro? Another hopeful season down the drain. Like, I didn't think Michael Jordan and Victor Wembanyama would take this long to win a chip. But they, in fact, would take this long to win a chip. And I really wish I could say Victor's story in the 80s got better from here. In the next season, with a decent seed against the Utah Jazz, Victor and the Clippers get swept. We're gonna have to start waxing my chest here soon. <laughs> And diving into the 90s era of the NBA, there was a terrible season and they missed the playoffs. Yeah, we missed the playoffs. Someone please explain this to me. The season was so bad that the Clippers cleared house and traded Victor to the Hornets and MJ to the Suns. Victor got sent to the Hornets and Michael Jordan got sent to the Suns. So Michael Jordan leaves and wins MVP. And though Charlotte had a decent year, Victor was out for the season. You can't make this up. Charlotte then proceeded to lose in the playoffs to New Jersey and Victor's relationship with the team tanked next season. Victor didn't play any games. He refused to play and decided to leave me waxing my legs. Shockingly, someone with a build like Victor's, no matter how good, could not survive in the 80s NBA.